Hi everyone, if you follow my channel, you know from time to time I do camping in my Tesla Model Y. And by far the biggest, weakest link of our camping experience has been the mattress. Up until this point, we've been using exclusively inflatable mattresses because they're cheap, they're compact, but you get what you pay for. When you're dealing with mattresses, you have basically three options for the Tesla Model Y. You've got the inflatable mattress, which I have tried and it's terrible and it's not comfortable. Then you have the all foam mattress, but they're big and bulky. What I have here is a mattress sent to be by my friends at Lost Horizon, which is the hybrid of the two. And in my opinion, this is the silver bullet of mattresses for the Model Y. Probably the easiest way for me to show you what this mattress is all about is let's just get this thing set up. Setting up this mattress is very straightforward. Simply pull it out of the bag, unfold it, and roll it into place. Make sure that the one-way valve is set to inflate. After about 30 minutes, the mattress will be fully inflated all by itself. Now, if you want, you can speed up that process by hooking up a pump, which I did. The desired firmness can be adjusted by adding more or less air. For many people, you may feel like the mattress is fine without any additional air. It's up to you. Once inflated, make it up like any normal bed. The top of the mattress is closer to a full-size mattress and the bottom is closer to a twin. Finish off with a set of pillows and you're ready for a good night's sleep in your car. Now that the bed is made up, I have a full-size topper to give it a little bit more padding, a queen-size fitted sheet and queen-size sheet um, because it's what I had and it seems to fit okay. Just tuck the excess underneath two full-size pillows. And as you can see, there is plenty of room here in the Model Y to completely spread out. And there is definitely enough room here for two people to sleep rather comfortably. Now let's talk about the tech specs. I already told you that this is a hybrid four and a half inch self-inflating mattress. It has an R value of 13 for the insulation and it can support up to 440 pounds and has a waterproof underside, which hopefully won't be needed inside the car. The mattress is fairly compact. It weighs in at 15.7 pounds and has a one year warranty from the manufacturer. There's also a one-way valve on the top of the mattress. And if you flip it one way, it allows air to come in, flip it around the other way, and it allows air to be pushed out during deflating. Please keep in mind that this valve is larger than a connection you might find on an inflatable mattress. So if you have an electric pump already for your inflatable mattress, it may not fit this particular mattress. That said, the storage bag is also a pump in a sense. You can connect the bottom of the bag to the mattress and seal the top of the bag and push air into the mattress to top it off. Tearing down the mattress is straightforward. Start by flipping the one-way valve to the deflate position. From here, you wanna start pushing as much of the air out of the mattress as possible. This compresses the mattress. I used a pump to suck out as much air possible, and you can do this by hand, but it will take quite a bit more work. I recommend that you get a pump and let it do the work for you. The one-way valve prevents the air from going back in, and as you can see, it can compress this mattress down pretty darn flat. From here, fold the mattress in half and start rolling it up. This can still be a bit of work to keep the roll as small as possible. Secure the rolled mattress with the provided clips and straps and put it back in the storage bag. Once packed up, the mattress will fit in your lower back trunk as well as the front. You have several options to choose from. Overall, I am super impressed with this mattress from Lost Horizon. It is clear that they were not asleep on the job when they were designing this mattress. This mattress is a perfect fit for your Model Y and takes advantage of every single inch of usable space. It's firm yet comfortable, and I can't bottom out with either my elbows or my hips. It even passes the old cat test. I have a 16 year old cat that spends most of her time in a heated bed. However, I had this mattress in my house doing some testing with it, and I couldn't get her off of the mattress. And I think that says a lot about its comfort level. That said, this mattress isn't perfect. There are two things that I would like to see improved on this product if possible. The first one is the valve for inflating and deflating. It is at the top of the mattress toward the front of the car. It would be nice if there was a secondary location for inflating and deflating at the bottom of the mattress as well. Climbing up to the front of the car is a little inconvenient, but I know why it's there because it helps when you're rolling it up to push all the last little bit of air out. 
Second, I think an air pump is probably needed. If you have the time, inflating it by yourself is fine. However, with the pump, it literally takes seconds. Also using the suction pump to draw out the air from the mattress really makes rolling it up easier. They do offer a cordless pump for sale as an option, and I would highly recommend that you take a look at that if you choose to purchase one of these. I put a link in the description below where you can go down and pick up one of your own from Amazon. It's about 250 bucks list price, and I know it's more expensive than a inflatable mattress, but take my word for it, it is worth it. It is also competitively priced compared to foam only mattresses, which are thinner and less comfortable and more bulky. And it's priced less expensive than other name brands of similar construction. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate it if you hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please do me a favor and consider subscribing to the channel. We have videos like this, review videos, FSD videos, all kinds of Tesla related and EV related videos coming out all the time. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.